Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reorganizing and decluttering a lot of our cabinets and our drawers in our kitchen. I just recently uploaded a full refrigerator declutter and organization, so if you're interested in that, I will have it linked in the description box below, and I will also have it linked at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that if you need some motivation for spring cleaning your entire kitchen. But again, today we'll be more focused on some of my drawers and pullouts and some of our cabinets. I have just felt recently that I need to reorganize and put things in different places. You will see the huge mess that I have in a lot of these areas. I swear the way that I have organized them in the past, they just haven't stayed organized. So I'm hoping with some of these new systems I put in place that they will stay organized. But anyway, let's jump right into the video. One thing I know for sure I want to do is move all of the kids' dishes down to a lower cabinet so that they can easily get them themselves. That way they're not climbing up on the counter to get dishes for themselves. Um, so I think all of the plates, bowls, and the cups I will move. And then I will have this just be all of our matching dishes will go in here. This was just one of those things as of recently, I was like, why do I have all of their dishes up high? Like they're always climbing on the counter. I'm always getting mad at them. Why are they in here? And it's been five years. We've lived here for almost five whole years. And I just thought maybe I should lower them. <laughs> maybe they should go somewhere else. So I think a lot of today will be me reorganizing things and moving things into different cabinets, which will probably throw my whole family off and will probably throw me off as well. But I'm trying to think after about five years of being here, where should things go that will make the very most sense? So that's what we're going to be doing today is reorganizing everything in all of these cupboards. I think one of the biggest changes needs to happen under the sink because I have an issue with that. Every time I open the cupboard, stuff falls on top of me and it's just been driving me crazy. So I did buy a nice system that I think will help under the sink. I decided to turn this cupboard pullout into a designated spot for the kids. So I'm gonna put all of my baby's food here, as well as all of the plates and cups and everything that my kids need to grab, just so that it's at a low enough level for all of them to be able to access it at any time and not have to ask me to pull them down a cup or a plate from a cupboard up above. These drawer dividers I picked up at Walmart. They do have them on Amazon. I will have those linked. You want to make sure that you measure your space before you buy these because my pullouts here are 21 inches and these go up to 22. Some only expand up to like 17 inches. So again, you want to make sure that you measure the space that you're going to be using these dividers in before you buy these. Both of these clear containers were from Walmart and I wanted to show you with the wrapping on them so you could see the name of them, but I will try to also find them and have them linked in the description below. Okay, so this already makes so much more sense to me. I don't know what took me so long. So I have all of the baby food right here, all of the different spoons for the older kids and for the baby, obviously. His bibs, some of his other kinds of snacks, and then some of his sippy cups. And then we have obviously all the kids' bowls, cups, and plates. I always get questions on these. Everything right here was from Dollar Tree. I know they do have them at Walmart. Actually, I think they might be a little bit different, but I swear the last time I saw them, they were like 50 cents. So maybe hit up Walmart first if you're looking for some plates that have the little separators on them. Okay, now let's move on to the next one. So this bottom drawer I originally had dedicated to my kids' pancake art and all the stuff that they use for that. And then we had some extra waffle makers, but I realized they don't use the pancake art. Like it's not an everyday thing, so we don't need it to be up in our kitchen. I'm going to put it down in our food storage area. I am going to instead turn this into our Tupperware cabinet. 
as well as my cookie cutter cabinet. I do use those more frequently. And as of right now, the cookie cutters are just like thrown everywhere. And so I've been trying to think of a good place for them. So anyway, I went and bought a whole new set of Tupperware because ours were to the point where most of them were missing their lids or I, they just weren't a set anymore. So I went and bought a full new set at Walmart. And then I'm going to put a divider here just so that I have a designated spot for my Tupperware and then also for my cookie cutters. Both of these containers were picked up at Dollar Tree, so they were just a dollar a piece. And I'm just separating them by like straight metal cookie cutters and plastic cookie cutters. Moving on to our upper cabinets, this is where we keep all of our cups. And you can see we have a lot of other random things in here, but I wanted to just get this completely organized and put all of our cups that match up here together. So my goal here is to just move anything that was like a Christmas mug. We'll put those downstairs with our Christmas things. And then I'm only going to have things that we actually use. I did end up buying a new set of cream colored cups. These were from Walmart for 50 cents. I'm sure if you've been there recently, you probably have seen them. They come with a matching set of like plates and bowls. And so I just got all new things for 50 cents a piece. I mean, I feel like you can't really beat that. The shelves that you see me putting here are from Amazon. I will have those linked below. And the mugs that I leave up here, my kids are obsessed with hot chocolate and they each have their own little Star Wars mug and then we have a Minecraft mug. So that is why I left those up here in the cabinet is because they just are obsessed with drinking out of these. They almost drink out of them every single day. This next drawer isn't too crazy bad, but I did want to add some dividers in here and just clean up any of the clutter I have around. I did end up tossing some things, but I also realized we've had this oven mitt for probably three years. It is lit on fire and it was from the Dollar Tree. So I was just like, why have I not ever upgraded? I mean, it's not like they're expensive. So I did buy us a new oven mitt and some hot pads. Uh, but again, this just looks so much more organized and clean and I love these little dividers. I feel like it does make the biggest difference and will help things stay in their designated spot. The next few drawers I'll be working on is this top drawer with all of our utensils. And then the second to bottom drawer right now has our Tupperware, which again has no matching lids. And so I'll probably be getting rid of a lot of that. And then our very bottom drawer, which I will be designating to some of the tools that I bake with. But we'll be starting out with a top utensil drawer, just again, decluttering, organizing, and giving it a good clean because you know how utensil drawers just get so messy. I feel like it was just full of crumbs. So I'm just going to be getting everything out of all of the drawers and then deciding what I need to keep, what I need to toss, and things that I can donate.
I'm designating this drawer to our waffle maker drawer. I know not many people will have a whole drawer for waffle makers, but our family is obsessed with them. So we have them for just all the different holidays. And now finally they will all be in one drawer together instead of just randomly put in different cupboards and different cabinets all over the house. I'm just throwing this clip in here real quick, but I know I'm going to get questions about where I keep spatulas because you probably didn't see any in this drawer. So we have these pullouts. This is something when we designed this kitchen, I wanted to put pullouts here. And then, um, so we keep our spatulas right there. And then on this one is all of our spices. It probably isn't very clean right now, but anyway, that's where we keep those things if you were wondering. <laughs> Okay, here is the last area that I will be cleaning and it has just been the biggest nightmare. I can never find what I'm looking for in here and I usually put the things that we use the very most like in a front line right here at the front of the cabinet. So everything behind, I don't even know what's back here. So I just cleaned everything out. I found a ton of empty containers that I will obviously be tossing. Lots of things that just spill back here. It's always just so gross. So. I'll be wiping this down and then I'll be inserting this pull out sliding shell that I got off Amazon. This is one of the pricier things that I purchased for my kitchen. But one of the things I hate the most about getting under the sink is having to like dig through all of the things in the back. So this little pull out allows you to pull out the shelf. So you're not having to bend down and reaching way in the back, trying to find what you're looking for. Everything fits on this little shelf and it can just pull out. So. I love this. Again, I will have it linked in the description box. The other thing that I got for under the sink is this little spinning caddy that I'll be putting like my paper towel and just some other random things that I can easily grab. As I'm editing this video, I actually did it two days ago. So I will just tell you, it has been so nice to be able to just open up the cabinet under the sink and easily grab what I need. And the paper towel is right there and it's not like thrown in the back. It has just been the nicest thing. So I would do this a thousand times over. I'm so happy that I finally got under my sink organized and I only have things that I absolutely need and use and that I finally found a system that makes it so easy to find what I'm looking for under the cabinet.
I know this kind of ended randomly, but I wanted to show my kitchen after I did a deep clean that night. Um, I always love going to sleep with a clean kitchen, so I made sure to do a really good thorough clean, and it made me feel so much better going to bed knowing that everything in my cabinets was also finally organized and put together. So thank you guys again so much for watching. If you have not yet hit that red subscribe button, please do that, and we will see you guys in the next video.